today I am going to be reviewing the Game of Thrones Urban Decay palette, show you swatches. I don't think anyone was more excited than my boyfriend for this palette. I've never seen a guy so excited about an eyeshadow palette. I've never seen him excited about makeup ever. He is a big Game of Thrones fan. You guys are probably going to hate me. I couldn't really get into it that much. I thought it was good, but I don't think it was like that great. But I am watching the new season, so I am hoping that this new season really pulls me in and changes my mind about the whole show. I do think it's a really good show. I just don't, I'm not like a diehard Game of Thrones fan. However, I did think that this new eyeshadow palette that Urban Decay released with Game of Thrones is really, really cool. I did wanted to review it here on my channel, especially because Urban Decay is a cruelty-free brand. This was a big launch for them, so I really wanted to just try out the palette and show it to you guys. So the palette was $65 on the Urban Decay website it is currently sold out but they are gonna have it in stores at Ulta and other retailers and they are gonna restock it so the thing that I was most excited about was the packaging of this palette obviously if you guys saw pictures online I thought that the packaging was really well done so the outside of the packaging is the Iron Throne front and back and on the sides you can see the map and when you open the palette you have a mirror and then a paragraph that I am not I'm gonna attempt to read because I know I'm gonna mispronounce all of these names but I will put it here on the screen so you guys can read it. Opens up to the Iron Throne so that's really really cool. And then inside it says, never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you. And then when you pull out the other flap, it is the eyeshadow shade. First section, I believe, is Hard Home. Second section is Winterfell. Third is King's Landing. And then the fourth is Bait of Dragons. You can see like every detail in this palette and I love that. So when I started creating this look, I went ahead and used some of these shadows that I would normally use for every day and then I played with some color I wanted to wear green the mattes were really really nice they blended out really nicely they were pigmented you definitely have to be careful with the shimmer shades because they do have some fallout other than that I really love the finished look that I created with the palette and I had a lot of fun playing with the colors and using the colors and the palette definitely inspires me to use different types of colors create different types of looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the swatches of the eyeshadows. So I swatched these from top to bottom. Each section has five shadows. The first five are Heart Home, and then we have Winterfell, and then we have King's Landing, and then Bay of Dragons. All of these shadows swatch really good. They are double swatched, some are triple swatched, but most of them had really good pigmentation and they're just beautiful. Uh, my favorite ones are the icy shades and the gold shades are so beautiful and the dual chrome shades at the end. As you guys can see, they're just so pretty. I actually went about my day and then now I am back. So it is the end of the day. Uh, the eyeshadow still looks pretty good. I do have a little bit of creasing on my eyelids and then some of the shimmer shades and like the shadow faded a little bit but the mattes still look really good. There is a little bit of patchiness just because I have been wearing the shadows for hours now. But overall, I feel like Urban Decay did an amazing job with this palette. I definitely feel like it is a collection collector's item or makeup enthusiasts if you love game of thrones and you love makeup this is like a no-brainer if you can get your hands on this palette i don't think that you would regret it it is very good quality packaging and the shadows is really good quality as well the packaging just feels really nice it does have some texture to it as well uh, where the gold details are at really really nice and the front and also in the back so I definitely feel like the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette is worth the money. It is pricey, but given the amount of work that they put in the packaging and the eyeshadows, I think that it is worth it. I will put a link down below to any of the retailers that do have the palette. Hopefully it's available very, very soon. And if not, it will be available in stores. And I'll put any details that I find out about when it's gonna be in stores, 
uh, what stores are gonna be available I will put the information in the description box below yeah I definitely recommend the palette if you love Game of Thrones if you don't like Game of Thrones obviously I feel like you don't need this palette um, you can definitely find another palette that costs a lot less with good eyeshadows but this palette does definitely have eyeshadows that I don't have in my collection that are pretty unique yeah I think it's just a fun palette so those are my final thoughts on the Irina K Game of Thrones palette let me know in the comment section if you watch Game of Thrones or not and let me know if you're watching the new season of Game of Thrones I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next video bye